what you've talked a lot about there is is the community. It's about but having that presence and stuff and the gratitude and actually being a community and a family for dinner, which is something very difficult to do in some of the things that you've achieved in your life. Obviously, two seasons on alone, um, and one there was there was no community for fifty seven days. It was me, myself, and I. <laughs> so. Um, Talk me through, so obviously you've got the experience of the sand, which is all around community, which is uncles and aunts and all that kind of stuff. And then you've got the experience of 57 days on your own. That, how, that must, the mental part of it must have been harder than the actual physical part, surely. I would say for most people, the mental part is the hardest part about a show like Alone. Um, you know, obviously there's cold and hypothermia and hunger and things along those lines, but you know, if you can deal with all of those, really what tends to throw people off often, I'd say men more so than women, really just looking at the statistics of alone over mm. the years, um, men seem to have a harder time of, of being alone by themselves. And uh, not all of them, obviously. Um, and it's, I'm not trying to do a men versus women thing. I just think that we're, <laughs> let's, we, let's, we let's are, to come. We are let's brought talk. up in a way that we're able to deal with, we're taught to deal with our emotions in a better way changing in society and by you know bringing up boys in a, in a way that they're able to speak about things openly um but i you know being alone is very different but that's important you know i think a healthy culture if you look at culture is connection with yourself community and nature and that connection with yourself i mean i think everyone should be alone no phone no social media no one else just try being alone i'm not saying do it for two months that's that's extreme okay. most people can't handle that or don't and don't need to do that but you know people do four day vision quests alone and have really huge life changes you know really change internally and i think that nowadays also we're not like we don't know, our kids are don't get bored right if we're mm. talking about ourselves and our kids we're always fiddling with something now, I remember as a kid, we didn't have, we didn't grow up with TV. Obviously, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have we had the landline that, you know, had, oh, we had three teenage girls. So <laughs> it was always busy. So we didn't have these, these sorts of distractions that we have nowadays. So we had a lot of time to be bored. And that boredom, quote unquote, really breeds things like creativity. And creativity is so important. So to be able to get out of your head and have imagination is, is key. So I think that that spending time alone is really important for people because it does connect them to themselves. You need that connection instead of just distracting yourself all the time. And I'm really bringing social media into this right now because I think it's, yeah. it's such a big distraction for people. And uh, it it's really can be quite harmful because there's so many people sort of behind the scenes manipulating what you see. And that's caused a lot of divisiveness, especially like in our country. But getting back to sort of the outdoors, um, you know, that that time being by myself, I was I was in the present moment again. And it's all about like, do I have enough firewood? Am I going to be warm tonight? Is my shelter thick enough? You know, bows to my bed to stay warm. Do I have you know? Do I have enough food? Do I have enough fish traps set? Do you know, what is going on in those sort of things? Is do I have enough? You know. Um, Tinder for fire, do I need to go collect more? So you're really looking at, you know, fire, shelter, water, food, your basics there and making sure that you're medically okay too. So, you know, living in that kind of moment, I, I think part of what got me through is that I knew I was coming back to my family. It's not like I was, it was a never ending sort of open-ended thing. I knew at some point it would end and I would see my family again, but I really liked being alone for those two months. I, not everybody does, but I had a blast. I thought it was the <laughs> best thing ever. I had no responsibilities. I had no to-do list other than things that I just needed to keep myself safe and warm and fed. And to me, it was an amazing experience and really brought home the fact that I was pretty solidified and that I had peace and joy in my heart. And I dealt with a lot of the trauma that I'd had. Anything you haven't dealt with bubbles up. And, you know, new stuff bubbles up all the time, but, you know, you just have to keep dealing with it over and over. None of it stops. But being outside is, is super healing and is a really good way to sort of, um, you know, make that connection with yourself and, uh, and keep it strong.